and welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be taking a look at the collapse command. A command has been requested a lot by both uh, staff and students, so here goes. To explain this command, first, what are we going to use it for? Well, the command, simply put, makes a new data set of your data set that contains summary statistics. And it may seem a little weird, but essentially it does the following. Suppose you have a nice little data set like the one we're going to put up here. This is a nice little web data set that you can all just uh, get in your starter, and it's quite simple. So what we have here is GPA, hour, year, and number. And what this collapse command can do for you now is generate a summary statistics, well, different kinds even, means, medians, min, max, and so forth, even standard deviations and percentiles. You can just check the help file for exactly which summary statistics can be used, but it should be hopefully pretty straightforward. Let's go over a few examples how this works based on this nice little data set here. And again, it's something that is easily to be gotten just via this web use command. So starting with off, how does the collapse look like? So it's just a collapse command. And then you would have to tell what statistic do you want? And for starting off simple, we're just gonna calculate the mean. And if I just put the mean of GPA and I'm gonna use this here, what do we get? We get a data set now that contains just one observation. How do I know? Because we only asked for the mean of GPA. So if I look up here, we get a 3.025. And yeah, that doesn't tell us a lot, right? Well, we could have done this a lot simpler, but so what more can it do? Let's start over, clear out and use the data set again and simply see what do we have. Let's clear everything out and let's expand a little on this collapse command. Clean up a little bit because I like my uh, do files as clean as possible. We're gonna use the collapse command again. I want to calculate the mean of GPA, that's perfectly fine. However, now I want to do it per year you saw in here. So we're gonna expand the command with a by option. And this is where it becomes really cool, of course. So we can do it by year. So what it's gonna do now, it's still gonna calculate the mean of GPA, but instead of just the overall mean, it would do it by year. So let's uh, try and see how it looks like. Go, we open the data set, and you see here indeed, we get the mean per year for all the four different years in the data. So that's pretty cool, right? But it can do a lot more than that. It's way more flexible than this. So I'm gonna copy down the same again. That is, I'm gonna clear out, I'm gonna load in the data set, and we're gonna expand it furthermore. Because we can, of course, just add more summary statistics, of course, otherwise this is pretty limited. And even better, we can do different summary statistics. So for instance, now I wanna have the sum of something else. And then we can put the variables from which we want the sum, of course. So we had GPA, the mean, and let's suppose we wanna sum all the hours spent. This is not necessarily useful, but it's just to showcase what can this command actually do for you. So looking here, we now get another column again. Per year, of course, we have the GPA from before, and now we have the total number of hours on top of that. And you can actually just expand on this here by whatever. And what is really cool, you can even use the by command for multiple groups. So if we also had for gender or for different locations, you can just add this in here and it calculates basically all these summary statistics for all the groups in question. But let's show a couple more examples before we call it a day, shall we? We're gonna clear it out once more, load in the data, well, once more, and what can we actually do now? Suppose that we wanna have more statistics of the same variable. That can become a little difficult because if it would just do this and we say, we wanna have the standard deviation also, SD is the short for that, and we wanna have GPA, it's gonna give an error because it will have the same name and that's not how this works. So we have to actually give this a name. So suppose we wanna call this mean GPA equal to GPA. And over here, I'm just gonna, for the lack of creativity, call it ST GPA equal to this. It will now generate it a new variable with these names. So in this way, you can conduct multiple summary statistics of the same variable. See, that's pretty cool, right? Because here we can do it just like this and at the same time, give it a new name. So it's nice, easy, clean, and tidy, whatever you wanna call it. Now, the final thing I want to do here 
We're going to copy down one more time. So for one final time, we're going to load in a data set all over again. And now we can add what is known as the count option. It's one of my favorite options on this one here because it also tells you how many observations are there for a given group. So we're simply going to go here and add yet another statistic, count. And this time we're going to just do it for GPA. We could also do it for another one. It doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, at least because there's no missing observations, but we're just going to call it count GPA of GPA. And if I'm not mistaken, that should hopefully work. So let's just try this out. There we go. It at least ran. That's always good. We can open here and see, oh, that's pretty cool. It gives us the count for each of the groups as well. And of course, if you want to learn more about this collapse command, just use the help option. It is quite nice. So just write help collapse and go check it out. This should hopefully have given you a nice introduction to command, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, that was all I have for you today, and I hope to see you back, of course, for another class here in Stevens Classroom. Bye-bye. <laughs>